So this animation shows a piston moving up and down inside a cylinder, in an engine for example. And notice how the piston compresses the fuel air mixture up towards the blue spark plug at the top in the center. The spark plug sparks, ignites the fuel air mixture and the ensuing explosion forces the piston down again. And the exhaust gases are then emitted and the cycle continues. Now 224 trimethylpentane, that is assigned an octane number of 100. And that's considered a very, very good fuel. It will explode at the right time, just as it's been compressed up towards the spark plug. So this piston and cylinder obviously has a problem. As the piston is squashing the fuel air mixture, it explodes before the spark plug can ignite it. So as the piston's going up, the explosion happens and that jars the engine and that's called knocking as the engine is being shaken or pinking because often it sounds like this pink 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 it's called pinking the fuel air mixture explodes prematurely and that is called pre-ignition now a fuel that is known for pre-ignition and causing knocking is heptane that's a terrible fuel and it is assigned an octane number of zero and just to note, at no stage have we actually talked about octane the chemical. We've just talked about octane number. So which fuels have low octane numbers, which means they pre-ignite, cause knocking, and engine damage and low performance? Well, nonane has a negative octane number, so that's really bad. Heptane has an octane number of zero, and you need to memorize that. So long chains seem to have low octane numbers. Next is 2-methylheptane with one branch, followed by 2,4-dimethylhexane with two branches, and 2,2,4 that has three branches. So the more branches it has, the higher the octane number. You need to know that 224 trimethylpentane has an octane number of 100. And then onto benzene, which actually has an octane number above 100. So aromatic compounds, ones with the hexagon, which is the benzene ring, that has higher than 100 octane numbers. And then finally, the one with the highest is branched and aromatic. So that's methylbenzene. So why don't they use pure benzene in fuel? Well, benzene is quite carcinogenic, gives you cancer. So to recap, zero octane number or zero octane, that behaves just like heptane, which is C7, H16, and that causes knock. So pre-ignition is when the fuel air mixture explodes early when it's heated and compressed in the engine, and that rattles the engine, knocking it. 100 octane, 224 trimethylpentane, you have to remember that. And that has no knock, and so that's good. You don't want knock. And that explodes when it's sparked by the spark plug. That's good. So what does 96 octane mean? Well, it behaves just like 96% 224-trimethylpentane and 4% heptane. Now, it isn't actually that mixture. It just behaves in the car engine like that mixture. So summary, heptane is zero octane number, 224, 100 octane, Knocking is when it's pre-ignition in an engine, it's inefficient and it's noisy, and it's associated with the linear alkanes and low octane numbers. Branched or aromatics have high octane numbers, there's no knocking, and that's good. And if you have a fuel with octane number X, then that burns equivalent to X percent 224 trimethylpentane and 100 minus X percent heptane. Now this next bit is in the international mindedness section and I'm sure they're not gonna ask you about this, but let's do it anyway for completeness. So meat 
Ron, his wife, Mon, and their daughter, Pon. Ron, Mon, and Pon. So, in fact, Ron, R-O-N, stands for the Research Octane Number, which is normally done on cars with engines that run at slower speeds. Mon is the motor octane number, and that is normally done on engines that run at higher speeds, but there are other variables to consider as well. And thirdly, there is PON. PON is the posted octane number. That is an average between RON and MON. What are the IB thinking? I don't know. So to recap this, that I'm pretty sure they're not going to ask, Ron, Mon and Pon. Ron was the research octane number used in some countries. Motor octane number used in other countries. Posted octane number, that's the average of the Ron and the Mon. What are they thinking? I don't know. Ron is slower engine and Mon is faster engine. And in the main book, the Jeff Noose book, it talks about tetraethyl lead. Now, tetraethyl lead is an octane booster. You add it to your gasoline and the octane number goes up dramatically. Now, when you burn it, it gives you brain damage, so they don't use that anymore. Now, that isn't in the syllabus, but it is in the Jeff Noose book. And you should trust the Jeff Noose book as the, your ultimate guide to how to get a seven.